Hello, today I will be explaining and showing what Kura is, how to import and export a 3D object from Kura and how to level and preheat your 3D printer. Firstly, Kura is a free and open source software application that is used to prepare 3D models for printing on a variety of desktop 3D printers. The software supports a wide range of 3D file formats, including STL, OBJ, 3MF, and AMF. Once a 3D object is loaded into Kura, the user can adjust a variety of settings to prepare the model for printing. You can download Kura from Ultimaker's website or from the link in the description. Secondly, you will need a 3D object to print. Today we will be using Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a website that hosts a large collection of 3D printable models created by a global community of designers, makers, and hobbyists. Today we will be printing a phone stand. The link to Thingiverse will be in the description of the video as well. Once you have Kura installed, you will need to choose a printer, in this case we are using the Tronxy D01. The next thing to do is to set the filament settings, by default the settings will be set to generic PLA and 0.4mm nozzle. There is also other types of filament that have their own strengths and weaknesses, PLA is the most common type of filament that you will come across because it has a relatively low printing temperature at 180 to 230 degrees Celsius. It is the most versatile type of filament. Another type of filament is ABS filament. This filament is very durable and resistant to high temperatures, but it also warps easily and emits hazardous fumes and has a high print temperature of 210 to 250 degrees Celsius. The last type of filament we will talk about today is TPE, TPU, or TPC filaments. Unlike the previous two filaments, these filaments are flexible and rubber-like and are perfect for flexible parts and prints. The drawbacks of these filaments are that they are difficult to print with and requires a tight filament path and slow print speed. Once you find the 3D object from Thingiverse that you want to print, you can import your 3D object by clicking on the file icon on the top left and find your 3D object from there or you could also drag and drop your 3D object file into Kura. After you have imported the 3D object you want to print, there is still some other settings you can use to get the desired result. There are a lot of settings you can change on Kura but today we will only look at the basic print settings. In the basic print settings you can change the print resolution of the print this will impact how much details you can have in the finished print and how much time it will take to print the object. The resolution range goes from extra fine, fine, normal, low and lastly rough, the finer the resolution the higher quality the finished print will be. Next setting will be infill percent, this setting will determine how much infill will be in the empty spaces of the 3D object. This will impact how durable the finished print will be. The higher the infill percentage the more durable the print will be, but it will also take longer to print. There are two other settings you can set in the basic print settings. The first one is supports. Supports are usually used for prints that have overhangs. Usually supports will be automatically added onto your print when it is sliced. The second setting is adhesion. This setting will add a flat area around or under the object. There are other settings in the custom tab for further setting customization. For today we will be printing a phone stand on low quality and on 0% infill for a speedy print. After you have adjusted the setting you want you can click the slice button on the bottom right. This will slice the 3D object so that the 3D printer can print it. Click the preview tab that is in the middle on the top of the screen. This will show you what the print might look like after printing. There is a slider on the right of the screen this will let you look inside the print so you can look at the infill. On the bottom right it will tell you how long it will take to print the object. It will also tell you how heavy the object will be and how much filament it will use. Below there will be a button that says, Save to Disk, this will export the sliced object as G-code preferably you could save it into a removable drive for easier transportation of the file. On the Tronxy D01 printer there is a 3.5 inch touch screen it will display three options, System, Tool, and Print. The first thing we have to do before printing is to level the print bed some printers comes with an auto leveling feature but for the Tronxy D01 we will have to do this manually. The things you will need is one piece of paper or a sticky note. As seen on the video you will have to put the piece of paper in between the print bed and the nozzle there will be a screw at the bottom of each corner of the print bed. You will need to tighten or loosen the screws until your paper is not moving freely but you will also need to make sure that the paper isn't stuck in between the print bed and the nozzle. The best way to tell if the distance between the nozzle and print bed is optimal is when the piece of paper is moving but with a little bit of resistance. Be sure to do this leveling step to all four corners of the print bed and check the leveling at the center of the print bed. Next is going to be preheating the nozzle and print bed go over, to the preheat option and input your settings. 
Once the nozzle and print bed is at the filament's print temperature 180 to 230 degrees Celsius for PLA, you can start printing. Here we have the finished print and on the top left there is a time lapse of the Tronxy D01 printing the phone stand. There is some stringing that happened while printing usually this is caused by inputting the incorrect temperatures or there is a problem with the settings. We can get rid of the strings by tearing it off or using a lighter to melt away the thin strings. Depending on the item that you want to print and what filament you want to use there is going to be some differences in what the settings are and how you clean the final print. The links to both Kura and Thingiverse will be in the description, as well as additional resources for a more in-depth look into the world of 3D printing thank you for watching this video.